Hello, I am Theoman and welcome to Defense Web TV. You are watching our weekly defense recap, bringing you the latest global developments in defense and security across land, air, and sea. In this edition, we take a closer look at five key stories shaping the week in defense. US X-59 supersonic jet completes its first flight in California, advancing quite overland speeds. Ukraine selects Germany's Rheinmetall Lynx Kai F-41 as its main infantry fighting vehicle. Russia transfers Karakut-class missile corvette Amur from Black Sea to Baltic Fleet. Italy's army to field 48 AW-249 Phoenix helicopters after Parliament approves 29 units order. Croatia and Slovenia unveil Commodore UJV with Mangard 25 AD turret to counter drones. NASA's X-59 experimental supersonic jet has successfully completed its first flight over California, marking a major step in the agency's quite a boom initiative. The aircraft aims to demonstrate low-noise supersonic travel, paving the way for future commercial flights over land. The X-59 is a one-of-a-kind experimental jet designed to fly at Mach 1.4 and 55,000 feet, powered by a single F-414 GE-100 engine. Its goal? To prove that supersonic flight can be quiet, producing less than 75 perceived loudness decibels on the ground. Its unusual shape makes that possible. Nearly a third of the aircraft's length is an ultra-long, sharp nose that spaces out shockwaves so they don't merge into a classic sonic boom. To fly this design, the pilot sits far back with no forward view, instead using a 4K camera-based vision system. The engine is mounted on top of the fuselage to keep the underside clean and control how lift and pressure waves interact. But the real story isn't about the X-59 itself, it's about the airspace it could open. If the aircraft proves that its quiet thump stays under 75 PLDB at speed, regulators could finally relax the ban on supersonic flight over land. A new FAA ICAO noise standard could redefine design rules, direct investments into engines, high temperature materials and avionics, and stabilize long-term planning. The F-414 engine choice also builds on existing defense experience and sustainment lines. Once Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works verifies the optimal flight profile, NASA will fly the X-59 over test ranges and selected communities to measure public response. Those results could shape the world's first data-driven rules for supersonic noise. If Washington leads that process, it could set the global benchmark, spurring innovation, sharpening mobility and subtly improving how future defense and research networks move and connect. Ukraine has officially chosen the German-made Rheinmetall Lynx Kai F-41 as its primary infantry fighting vehicle, confirming a landmark partnership in European defense cooperation. The decision signals Kiev's intention to modernize its ground forces with modular Western standard platforms. Ukraine has officially chosen the German-made Rheinmetall Lynx KF-41 as its new standard infantry fighting vehicle for domestic production, a landmark step toward building a NATO-compatible armored fleet at home. The decision follows extensive testing of the first Hungarian-built Lynx delivered to Ukraine in late 2024. Rheinmetall will partner with Ukroboronprom to open a new production facility inside Ukraine by the end of 2025. The country's first large-scale armored vehicle factory established during wartime. This program moves Ukraine from repair-based cooperation to true industrial independence, enabling serial production of a single standardized IFV compatible with NATO logistics and maintenance systems.
The first Ukrainian assembled Lynx vehicles could roll out before 2027, depending on funding and factory readiness. The KF-41's modular design separates a drive module from interchangeable mission modules, allowing rapid conversion for roles such as infantry combat, reconnaissance, command, medical evacuation or air defense. Its Lance 2.0 turret mounts a 35mm Wotan cannon and optional Spike LR2 missiles supported by advanced sights, laser warning receivers and digital fire control. Modular armor protects against 30mm and 14.5mm threats, while a double armored floor resists 10 kilograms of TNT. With exceptional mobility and open architecture electronics ready for counter drone tools, the Lynx meets Ukraine's demand for adaptable, survivable vehicles in high intensity warfare. If production proceeds on schedule, the Ukrainian built Lynx will not only modernize the army, but also anchor a long-term defense industry, positioning Ukraine as a future regional hub for armored systems. Russia has relocated its Karakut-class missile Corvette armor from the Black Sea Fleet to the Baltic Fleet as part of an ongoing naval redistribution strategy. The move reflects Moscow's efforts to strengthen its presence in the Baltic Sea amid rising regional tensions. The small missile ship Amur was built at the Zaliv shipyard in Kerch, with its keel laid in 2017 and launched in late 2022. Sea trials began in December 2023, and in April 2024 the vessel was moved to the Caspian Sea to finish testing away from the combat zone. On August 26, 2024, Emmer officially entered service with the Russian Navy under the Black Sea Fleet before being transferred to the Baltic, part of Russia's practice of relocating new ships to safer waters through internal routes. The Baltic Fleet, one of Russia's oldest, operates mainly from Baltisk and Kronstadt. It safeguards access to St. Petersburg and oversees the Gulf of Finland and Southern Baltic Sea. Surrounded by NATO states, the fleet relies on small, heavily armed ships like missile corvettes and patrol vessels, designed for confined and closely monitored waters. Amur is a Project 22800 Karakurt class corvette, compact but powerful. It's about 67 meters long, displaces around 800 tons, and can reach 30 knots using three diesel engines. Its main armament is an 8-cell launcher for caliber cruise missiles, backed by an 76mm gun and, on newer ships, the Panzer-M air defense system. The ship's advanced radar and combat systems allow it to strike targets at long range or operate drones for reconnaissance, with a crew of 50 to 70. The Karakurt program spans several Russian shipyards, including Pela, Zelenodolsk, Zaliv, and Amur. Amur was the third unit built in Kirsch under a 2016 contract following Acecold and Cyclone, both damaged or lost during the war. Despite engine shortages and wartime delays, construction continues, supplying new vessels to the Baltic, Pacific and Caspian fleets. Italian Parliament has authorized funding for 29 additional AW249 Fenis attack helicopters, bringing the Army's total future fleet to 48 units. The procurement consolidates Italy's transition from the AH-129D Mangusta to the next-generation combat rotorcraft capability. The AW249 Fenis is Leonardo Helicopter's new generation combat helicopter, built to replace Italy's A129 Mangusta and meet the demands of modern multi-domain warfare. Compared to the Mangusta, a Cold War era design, the Fenis is larger, stronger and far more capable. It carries nearly twice the weapon load, about two tons, and features a fully digital, open architecture mission system that integrates seamlessly with Italian and NATO assets. Powered by upgraded GET 700 engines and equipped with new dynamic components from the AW149, the Fenis delivers superior hot and high performance, electrical power for advanced sensors and robust protection. While it keeps proven systems like 
the 20 mm cannon and spike missiles, it's a completely new platform, closing the gap with top-tier gunships like the Apache and Tiger. Its development reflects over 30 years of experience with the Mangusta in Lebanon, Afghanistan and Iraq. Lessons that shaped the AW249's focus on endurance, digital connectivity and survivability against drones, manpads and electronic threats. After its first flight in 2022, Italy ordered nearly 20 aircraft, aiming for a full fleet of 48 to replace every Mangusta by the early 2030s. With the addition of 29 more units, the army will field modernized regiments capable of armed reconnaissance, close air support and anti-armor missions across the Mediterranean Balkans and Sahel. Fully networked and UAV controlling by design, the Phoenice aligns with NATO's sensor-to-shooter doctrine and lessons from Ukraine's battlefields, where survivability and electronic warfare are key. This program not only secures Italy's place in Europe's high-end rotary wing arena, but also preserves national expertise, jobs and a sovereign combat aviation industry giving Italy a truly modern, connected and combat-ready attack helicopter for the decade ahead. Croatia and Slovenia have jointly revealed the Commodore Unmet ground vehicle, equipped with Mongart 25 AD turrets designed for anti-drone warfare. The platform showcases regional cooperation in developing autonomous defense technologies tailored for modern battlefield threats. The Mangart 25 AD is Slovenia's new short-range air defense and multifunctional turret. It mounts a Rhine Metal 25 by 137 mm dual feed cannon, two MBDA SADM launchers, a Hensoldt Spexer ASA radar, and a Safran Paseo targeting suite. With 400 ready rounds, air burst ammunition and 4 axis stabilization, it can accurately engage air or ground targets up to 3 kilometers away. Weighing about 1.2 tons, the Mangat offers level 1 armor protection, a coxial 7.62 mm FN mag and 76 mm smoke launchers. Its networked architecture links multiple turrets with external sensors and command systems, creating a layered air defense network. The MV-8 Komodo is a 17-ton unmanned ground vehicle built for dangerous or contaminated environments. Powered by a hybrid system, it operates in low oxygen or high temperature zones and can reach 55 km per hour in military configuration. Its modular design supports tools for reconnaissance, decontamination or even armed missions when paired with the Mangar turret. The Slovenian Ministry of Defense is now testing the Mangar 25 on JLTV and Peron 4x4 four four platforms. The project is led by Valhalla Turrets, working with five domestic companies. Valhalla also developed the lighter Loki 762 station for reconnaissance and support vehicles. Detection ranges reach 20 kilometers for fighters, 12 for helicopters, and up to 10 for missiles and drones, with 25 millimeter intercepts around 350 meters. The new Mangard 30 variant, mounting a 30mm cannon, is already under trial on the Patria AMV. Looking ahead, Valhalla plans AI-based target recognition, laser designation and acoustic shot detection, while docking partners with Rhine Metal to co-develop unmanned mine and counter-mobility systems with a demonstrator due in 2025.